You can still watch our live programming via our, our streaming app. It, you can find it by downloading QVC Plus, but you can also go to plus.qvc.com. On April 11th, National Pet Day, we're going to have a pet palooza on QVC Plus. I am super excited because it is being headlined by Hammy and Olivia. If you've ever heard of Hammy and Olivia, I'm sure you have because more than 10 million followers across all platforms follow these gorgeous corgis. And on National Pet Day, the Pet Palooza will be starring Olivia and Hammy. But today, we're getting the jump. We get to show you very, very first time the Bark Cuterie. It's 25 possum snack boards for dogs by Hammy and Olivia. This is such a fun find. It's giftable. This is great for pet parents and for anybody that is tired of searching around for something fun to do for your pets or something healthy to do for your pets. Stop right here and order. It's H440436. It's $17.99. We do have easy pay, three easy payments of $6. We're going to talk all about it with Chris Equally. I am so excited he's here because Chris brought a dear friend of his to the show today. Chris, welcome to QVC. It is so good to see you. And you have someone doing a little side eye over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, welcome to Las Vegas. You're live in oh our kitchen. Gosh. This is my six-year-old Pembroke Welsh Corgi, Hammy. So <laughs> you're awesome, but I do have food in front of me, and that <laughs> might occupy his attention a little bit, as you can probably oh, tell. Hammy, it's so cute. Okay, so Chris, can you tell us your story? I mean, who is Hammy, and who are Hammy and Olivia? Because we already can't wait to spend time with them on April 11th on QVC+. Plus. Absolutely. So the pandemic put us all through a loop. And yeah. one of the things that me and my fiance Sarah figured out pretty early on is that people needed a smile. And so what we did was we started taking videos of our two corgis and sharing them with our community out there on social media. So um, a smile is a powerful thing. And it kept us going. And we heard from people that uh, it really helped them get through the pandemic in our own fun, silly, zany sort of way. And that's what we really sort of inspire to do is just put a smile on people's faces 15 seconds at a time. First of all, corgis are just about the cute. We were I was chatting with Joe before the show who works uh, the show here. And I was saying to him, I said, I just I don't know if I trust people that don't like corgis. I mean, come on. They're so silly and they're so fun and they're so loving. And I, I, I also love the fact that they have two very distinct distinct personalities. I kind of feel like I might be hammy today, um, but can you give us a little bit of insight on the two of their personalities and then we're going to dive into the book? I, I can, yes. <laughs> um, I mean, they're, they're really true underdogs, right? Like they're not blessed with the longest legs. They, yeah. Most of them don't have tails. They dock the tails. So you really want to root for these guys. And um, so <laughs> hammy is, he's sort of our chunky monkey. He's our, he's our lovable loser. He'll be the last kid picked in kickball. Everyone oh. loves hammy because the only thing bigger than his heart is going to be his stomach. So he uh, operates as sort of my ongoing sous chef here in the kitchen. And then Olivia is our eight-year-old sassy diva, and she emulates our modern-day Cher Horowitz, if you're a Clueless fan. So um, <laughs> she it, it has quite the wardrobe, um, as you, you'll see in the book. Um, we actually theme her for every individual board that we create, and... Um, her her looks are pretty extensive and fun. So we actually had to stop going to dog clothes, Mary, because she has so much, and we had to start going and getting her three year old toddler sized <laughs> clothes at big box retailers. So it's it's turned into quite the fun little endeavor. That's a rip. And okay, so we have fewer than two thousand of these left to go around. Remember, April eleventh, National Pet Day. Um, this is a great gift for pet parents. This is also a lot of fun. I would leave this on my coffee table just to get people talking. But let's get into the book because the book has one hundred and seventy six pages. There are thirty five recipes, more than thirty five recipes inside, and there's more than twenty five themed boards. So kind of give us an overview of this great book. Yes. So the big thing for me, Mary, is I'm seasonal, right? And what yeah. we decided to do was categorize all these based on the seasons. Now, here in Las Vegas, we jump from winter to summer. So we sure. really glorify spring over here when we have about a week of it. So actually, one of my favorite boards that we have right now 
is our picnic board. I've been making this and going to our local park and, and, and feasting on it. And oh, it's cute. actually really easy to make. Yeah, it's super easy to make. Um, the board assembly instructions are on the larger uh, page. And then we actually go a level deeper into things that take their own little recipes to uh, create, just like our carrot donuts here. So um, fun things like that. And then we actually also have our Cinco de Mayo platter that's coming up here pretty <laughs> soon. And we can't jazz up a Cinco de Mayo platter without some cucumber pocitos. So um, got to do a mocktail. If the humans are coming and they need a little rum in it too, that's okay. So uh, we can figure it out. You so can make your own human version as well. To make sure that it's it's super clear to everybody at home, are these recipes for pets? Are these recipes that we can share with our pets? What's the yes. what was the the thought in mind when you put it together? That's a great question, Mary. Yeah. So charcuterie is about co community. It's about family. It's about gathering around the table and laughing, clinking glasses. <laughs> and pets are they are furry members of our family. They're our fur babies. We want to be able to have them there as well. And so. We wanted to make sure that everything that's going to be in this book is dog friendly. It's pet friendly. And we also understand that, you know, they have natural digestion systems just like us. Some are going to be a little tough on dairy. Some will be tougher on gluten. So we actually make sure to mark ones that are going to be dairy free and gluten free. Right, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> now, is how's Hammy doing? Oh, see, now he's doing better. Hammy, Hammy, he or she, excuse me. He. he. It's, yeah, he, oh. Hammy's the boy. He's so cute. Oh, look at him. He's got his little <laughs> muzzle on your shoulder. Well, and I highly I highly encourage you to follow Hammy and Olivia on every single platform because they're just going to bring you so much joy to your timeline, too. And I look at this and I think, you know, we could all use a little uplift right now. We could all use a little, you know, just something positive. And I think this is exactly what so many of us are looking for. A lot of people picking it up in the show. And I think Hammy and Olivia are so much fun to follow because I think depending on the day, our moods change as humans. And I think following along with them, one day I feel like a potato and one day I feel like putting on a fresh outfit. Like I get it, it's a, it's a vibe. But I love what you said to me before the show, Chris, you're not a chef. These are just fun suggestions for everybody to incorporate into their lives too. No, I'm not a chef. Actually, sometimes I, I, I like to think of myself as the king of the 20 minute meal when we just need to get something on a plate and get it out. Yeah. Uh, but no, these are super easy to assemble, Mary. And sometimes if you just need to race out the door and put them together, yeah. um, they, they come together pretty quickly. Just so long as you're playful, a little colorful, barcuterie can really be rearranged however way you think it's going to be fun. We're actually invited to go watch a very important golf tournament that's happening this weekend. So um, we got a Corgi cookie cutter oh. and, you know, opening that drawer that you probably open once a year when you're making Christmas cookies. So uh, we got that out and we decided to assemble canine friendly egg salad sandwiches. Cute. Oh, my gosh. That's adorable. And, you know, think about it. Whether you are ha putting together a luncheon with little ones and the pets, everybody can share. And I think these ideas are so great for if you know anybody that is a pet parent or you know anybody who just got their first pet. There's even a couple cat. There's cat recipes in here, too. There is, of course, for your tabby, Mary. We had to. So <laughs> we got a Catterday board. Love it. And of course, no Catterday board would be complete without tuna catnip treats. I so love this is it. our one-year-old Theodore. So he is sort of our fun little problem child that we have right now. <laughs> well, learning what it's like. To be, it's my first cat. I'm learning what it's like. You're doing great, and you know we are so excited to have you visit us on In the Kitchen with Mary. I just wanted to show everybody that this is the whole lovely family right here. And please, please grab the book while we still have it. Check it all out on National Pet Day on April 11th on QVC Plus. And Chris, have fun at the golf tournament. And thank you, thank you, Bye. Hammy and Chris, for joining us today. This was so fun. Thank you, Mary. You're invited. Come oh, on yay. In. We're on our way. <laughs> thank you, Chris. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Um, everybody, please continue to order. This book is so sweet. It's H440436. It's so much fun. And remember, April 11th is National Pet Day. The Pet Palooza happens on QVC Plus. You can check it all out on plus.qvc.com. And we have lots of pet items on QVC.com. Just search, is it, what's the, 
Oh, just search pets and you can find it all on QVC.com. Um, don't miss out too because on April 11th on QVC Plus, you're going to see videos from Hammy and Olivia, but you're also going to see videos from me, from Alberti Popage, and some of our pet parents who are hosts here at QVC.